So the idea is how do organizations typically report healthcare spend? So they do not say something like this. Our medical spend in 2022 was a million dollars. So why not? This is not very illuminating. And the reason why it's not very illuminating is because it tells us nothing about how business is going for a health plan that is paying for this. So for example, this health plan could have had one beneficiary who paid for one month of coverage that year. And that would be horrible for the insurance company because somebody paid him like 500 bucks for a month of coverage and the insurance company spent a million dollars on this patient. Uh, another situation could be one beneficiary paid for a full year of coverage that year. That's a little bit better for the insurance company, still horrible, but somebody paid them for 12 months of coverage and the insurance company spent a million bucks on them. Or what if they had a million beneficiaries who each paid for a full year of coverage? Well, in this case, that's fantastic business for the insurance company because one million people paid premiums for a full year and each person just cost them a dollar a year. So obviously, this is why we need to normalize the way we uh, report spend. And this is why people created the concept of member months. Now, what is a member month? A member month is just one month of coverage for one beneficiary in the time period of interest. So for example, in this case, where you had one beneficiary who paid for one month of coverage that year, you have one member month in 2022. In this case, one beneficiary paid for a full year of coverage that year, you have 12 member months in 2022. And in this case, where a million beneficiaries each paid for a full year of coverage, you have 12 million member months in 2022. So when you say our medical spend in 22 was a million dollars, the way to report it in a normalized way is standardly done like this. You say the total spend in dollars in the time period of interest, and you divide that by the number of member months in the time period of interest. So that gives you a, a number that we typically call spend per member month or spend per member per month, or for short spend PMPM or PMPM spend. So in this case, uh, where there was just one member with eligibility for one month, you have $1 million to spend divided by one member month. So that gives you a PMPM of a million dollars. In this case, where you have a million dollars to spend in 12 member months, you have close to 83K PMPM. And in this case, where you had a million dollars to spend in 12 million member months, the PMPM is eight cents. So that, that's how that's reflected in this normalized version of spend. So counting member months is pretty straightforward. When every eligibility period for every member spans an exact number of months. Like for example, if you have coverage starts on the first day of a month and coverage ends on the last day of the month, and that's what it looks like for every single beneficiary, counting member months is straightforward. Uh, in this case, we would have exactly 11 member months. But what about when eligibility spans look like this? And you have coverage starts in the middle of a month and coverage ends in the middle of a later month. And it looks like that for a lot of beneficiaries. So then there's two approaches to dealing with these situations. One approach is to just count uh, a member month if the member had coverage during any fraction of a calendar month. So for example, in this case, we would have still 11 member months. Another approach is to count fractional member months. If you do that, uh, a pretty straightforward way to do that would be to count member days in a given calendar month and divide the number of member days in that month uh, by the total number of the days in that month, in that calendar month, to get a fractional member months for that month. So here's the interesting thing. We have seen that the difference between these two approaches can result in up to 10% difference in your calculated PMPM spend. So how you choose to calculate member months can significantly alter your reported PMPM. How do you calculate member months?